Right, so here's a demonstration of the capacitor's drive just as it sits here. And you can notice there's a little bit of play when it's kind of out here at this extent. Um, but if I, I, I can just twist it very easily with my fingers here. And it just drops straight in here like this. It's almost effortless. It's very doesn't require any, uh, hardly any force whatsoever. And it reaches kind of the extent here, that screw part. There it is. And I don't, I don't actually know if this bellows, I assume that there's a portion of the, this portion is actually the bellows that's supposed to move in and out. But the way that this was previously assembled, there's actually some sort of gear sitting right here in a cage bolted onto this. Um, and I'm thinking that perhaps that cage and gear uh, assembly was supposed to hold this shaft, uh, I guess, in place. And as it turned, um, this, this shaft would be immobilized and something in here would have to move instead that's my guess um, I, sh I could I should probably put put this back together the way that it came out and and see if that that's the case but anyway uh, that's how it stands right now uh, all uncoupled